All right, welcome everyone to today's episode. This is single parenting segment. Kama kawaida, mimi naitwa Joseph Dual aka Ajo. And today, guess what? We're delighted to have the only <laughs> the iron lady. She's called Ruth Matete. Na kama it's the first time, please go to YouTube channel finya ile subscription button, watch, like and share. Karibu sana Ruth. Thank you. Thank you so much. Unaka vizuri. Asante. Ah this uh, this is Lopaso channel yeah. and we are so happy to have you around. Wow, I'm honored to be here. As Karibu well. sana. Thank you. Oh, we have uh, uh, Valley in Eto Ochid Valley. Ochid. Yani Ochid ama Ochid. We say Ochid. Oh, <laughs> mhm. Mm so there is a uh, Oh, apple. You love apple? No, I think mango right? Too. Wale watu wakenu wanatumia hizi. Mm, wale. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. Let's 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 Oh, you're a gentleman. Some, let's, okay. Let's have some drink here mm. as we Ibusana. Mm. All right. So, how how has it been? So, if maybe you can tell the viewers who Ruth Matete is. Mm. Well, I think I wear many titles. Well, wow. uh, but I think the not I think I know okay. that the best of them all of all the titles I've ever um, held, mother is wow. the best title. Wow. So my name is Pastor Ruth Matete. Pastor. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm a mother of one okay. beautiful Yoruba princess. Wow. I call her my Yoruba princess. Her name is. Reina Tolua. I am also a gospel minister mm -hmm. and uh, a voice coach. Wow. Yeah. So you can you can teach somebody how to sing. <coughs> or maybe even if you put you it train, like that, then train. anyone can come and say, <laughs> help me to sing. I don't give talents. Okay. I just work on the already talent that God has given on you. On the vocals. Yes. So oh, I help you to nice. know how to use the gift that God has given you. Okay. Yeah. So you said you're a mother of one? Yeah. How is Tolua? Tolua is fine though. She was coming up with some cold kidogo, but it's the oh, weather. Sorry. But she'll be okay. Yeah, she'll be okay. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the other day I saw Tolua, your daughter was carrying what was some, she doing? some some two kgs of uh, uh, ula, right? I'm telling you, you. posted it on Instagram. Yes. Uh, so she's <laughs> becoming a very... <laughs> <laughs> of all the things she could carry. So how, how old is she? So she's 1.9. 1 year, 9 months. 1 year and she's carrying a 2 kg. Can you imagine? Taking it to the kitchen. The <laughs> Luya. Uh, yeah, da, da. I don't know if we call it uh, like uh, uh, a daughter-mother support. You know? So, uh, like <laughs> I'll mom, this idea. I know. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway... Uh, Maybe another thing, how has, how, how has it been, like mm. your journey throughout being a single parent? Um, it, uh, do you have any challenges, or many things that you are facing? Well, okay. of course, I can't deny the fact that there are challenges okay. of being a single mother. Wow. And uh, even before I talk about the challenges or, you know, how it has been, mm -hmm. I would like to say that nobody ever wishes to be a single mother. I know. And we have single mothers for different reasons. Okay. Personally, mine is because my husband died. Sorry. And so automatically, I became a single mom. Okay. Uh, by the time I was dying, I was pregnant, or, or of course. Okay. And now, since then, I've been alone, taking care of my child. The challenges, um, I would say they are like different, mm -hmm. different uh there's emotional there's financial there's psychological okay. um maybe if i can just mention one in each mm -hmm. the psychological would be you know depending on what happened or what led you to being single mine being death mm -hmm. um you know i had to take time to deal with it and actually just come to the terms uh come to terms with the fact that i'm going to raise this child alone mm -hmm. until you know god sees otherwise uh, yeah. financially, you know, mm -hmm. I mean, even the Bible says, sorry, I'm a pastor, so <laughs> I think everything I... It's okay, I just quote. I line it with the, with the scripture. <laughs> the Bible says, okay. two are mm -hmm. better than, than one. one. Yeah. And it goes ahead mm -hmm. to say that when they lie together, oh, oh Jesus <laughs> Christ, they give each other mm -hmm. warmth. Oh. But what the Bible really means with our scripture is that when you're two, it becomes a bit better. So yeah. even financially, I mean, if I'm working and my husband is working, 
we are going to get you know yeah. more in the house okay. but now uh one of the challenges i think of being a single mother is okay. finances you know you i mean the child is looking at you mm -hmm. eh, yeah so it, it can be a bit tricky and then uh emotionally yeah i mean raising a child i remember the very first few months it was hard for me okay because um you know i would look at her maybe when she um she achieves a milestone mm -hmm. the first thought would be if the dad was here we'd be celebrating together so the emotional thing is also is also there yeah mm -hmm. but it I, I it's manageable god is there yes god yeah. an upside yeah I, I must say that you are a, yeah you are a, uh i said that you are an iron lady hey, iron lady. and i see your the, the energy you're Mawikasa. putting towards your family uh -huh. it's awesome thank you and i know that to low Tolua, right? Uh, yeah, Tolua. Tolua. Oh, yeah. Fine. Yeah, so uh, I, I was, you said that you, when you lost your husband, yeah. uh, you were pregnant. Yes, I was. How was the experience? Now that the emotional, you are down, yeah. your pregnancy is here. Yeah. How, how, did you, how did you concentrate on your pregnancy? Yeah. You know, the, the husband, you've lost uh, your husband. How was yeah. it? Well, um, being that so many things surrounded the, the death of my husband, okay. uh, I would say, to be honest, I decided to like I don't know come and could block or whatever. I just decided, you know what? I'm mm -hmm. gonna deal with one thing wow. at a time. Wow. And uh, so I actually I think I mourned later. I was really scared of mm -hmm. losing. You know, when I think when you've lost someone yeah. or you've lost something, there's always that fear of losing again. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I wouldn't want to lose this child. I've already lost the father. So I think my focus was on ensuring mm -hmm. that I keep this pregnancy. So. Wow. I mean, I just um, focus my mind on ensuring that the pregnancy stays. Wow. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. So how does it feel to be, uh, maybe you are a single mom. Yeah. You are a pastor. Yeah. How do you dedicate your time? This family, Toloa, needs you. Yeah. Church needs you. Yeah. The society needs you. Yeah. So you, you are, you are a, a Niseme, you are a socialite. Like, mm. you, you are in social media, people know you. Yeah. So how did people react mm. to maybe the 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 death of your husband uh -huh. and uh did you get any criticism from everybody the yeah. social media unfortunately um i used to think it's just africa well wow. but i think even in the western world mm -hmm. uh the first thing that people think about when you lose a husband mm -hmm. is that you're the one who killed him i used to think it's an african thing until okay. a friend of mine you know shared and said you know what even this side, mm -hmm. it's like that. You're like the first suspect. Mm -hmm. So I was really trolled on social media because so many things were happening at that time. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, people said everything that they wanted to say. And it was bad. It was bad. Oh. It was really, really hard. What I did was to just try and not try. I actually made up my mind to avoid it. So I didn't, like, you know, put my mind on reading the comments mm -hmm. or whatever posts people were putting across. Most of the things uh, that I know that happened mm -hmm. are things that I was told by my friends, you okay. know, like what happened okay. in case I ask. But my friends know that they don't share those things mm -hmm. unless I'm in that space of asking you, okay. you know, because you know, it's not something you want to talk about every day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so social media was crazy. It was crazy, you know, for lack of a better word. Yeah, people can criticize you and everything. Yeah, ah, people you know. can talk. You leave it. But your the, the Bible says that all all in all, all things are together for good. That's true. That's and true. now, uh, bringing up Toloa, do you have any challenge? Maybe she's a beautiful uh, girl, by is the way. She? She oh, is. she is. So, uh, do you have any problem bringing her up? <sighs> Maybe financially? To be honest, since I got my baby, mm -hmm. it's been amazing. Wow. Like honestly, since I got my child, wow. it's like doors opened more. To Blazing. be honest. Wow. To be honest. One time I was talking with my friend and I was like, you know what? The yes, someone ha might have their own reasons of why they would okay. abort. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. But after I, after I got my child, I was like, you know what, even if I, now that I know this feeling, yes. even if you end up getting pregnant and planned, yeah. or the father, or whatever, they just decide that they don't want to be part of it, please don't abort. This, uh, yani I'm telling anyone who might be listening to me, oh. and probably they're pregnant and they're thinking, I don't have money, or how am I going to take care of this child? Mm -hmm. Imagine they actually come with their own blessings. Wow. Yeah, so for me, 
I I was telling my dad, was it the other day? Nikwambia, eh, mimi, I'm just reaping the benefits of Tolua. And like, baraka zingine, mm-hmm. nakulia tu wapo. Mm. So your dad has been a big support? Ooh, he has. Wow. He has. Oh, okay. great, great support. So he has been there for you since? Yeah. And my friends as well. Like, God really put people around me wow. at that time. Mm-hmm. Some of them are still in my life till now. Okay. Just to ensure that I'm okay. Yeah, so wow. it, it's been good. So there is no struggling that you are you are going through bringing the the child. You know? Ah, no Fa- to be honest, if I, I I mean financially wow. no. Mm-hmm. The only struggle is um I'll be honest with you is uh Muogopa mm. um the one day she'll go out there and she'll be playing and mm. then someone will come tell her your mom killed your dad. So sometimes I think about those things okay. and you know I want m- I want to be the first one to tell her what happened to dad you know so, so sometimes now go pangaza maswali ya kuja niulize eh uh, what is dad ama what happened ama eh my friend told me this and that mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. stuff like that and then I think I also just wish that the dad was here so that you know a child can get both love your mom now that is not dad. Yeah. yeah so mm-hmm. you're planning to uh, be open to her at what age Eh, what are your digital sign, my dear? <laughs> you, know. you have to start I early. Know. So the minute she's able to comprehend and understand things, mm. you know, I, I I will start, you know, letting her know. Polo polo too. Yeah. Yeah. In the church, the, the society that we are in, yeah. the church and everybody around, mm. uh, you've said, you've narrated your story, what happened, and people think mm. that you, you did that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now, you being a pastor, mm. what step did you make? Yeah. Like you becoming a pastor or Konaela energy when yeah. mama ko pulpit and yeah. preaching. Yeah. Do you get any criticism or anything from the church? Well, uh, a lot of criticism that I got mm-hmm. was before, before the verdict. Okay. Because, you know, there was a police case and all this kind of stuff. Okay. So once the verdict was made and, uh, you know, it was actually found out what um, led to the, to the death of my husband, mm-hmm. then I, I, it stopped. Sai, I can't tell you that I'm, I'm, I'm getting it. If they are saying it, then I'm not seeing it, or they're not saying it on my yeah. Facebook, they're not saying it mm-hmm. in a place where, you know that they're not saying it on my social media, mm-hmm. so I haven't felt it. What I feel, though, is, um, have you ever felt energy? Someone doesn't tell you, uh, but when I scare too, you just I feel like this person doesn't like I me. Know. So sometimes when I'm walking on the streets, you'll just hear some shh, shh, shh. Then some stairs, oh, you're like, oh, okay, <laughs> you know, so mm-hmm. you would hear that, you'd feel the energy that mm, these ones are not saying something oh. good. Mm. So you, you mind your own business? You have to. Okay. You have to. I have a child to take care of. Yeah, sure. Yeah, so I can't. At his son, Jipatia stress is in So mm. all the things that you read on social media, did you have to get to one on one, like maybe replying to the? I the, didn't the get text? to read them. I didn't. Good. What happened? Uh-huh. My father and uh, my friend mm. immediately the story started happening. They took my phone. Oh wow! They okay. took it and deleted my account. So oh. I never got to read. I never got to read. You're back to and social I think media. That, yes, I came back uh, tw- in September mm-hmm. 2020. Oh, okay. Yeah, just after. No, 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 no. Twenty nine. Uh, why am I confusing? I <laughs> came back before I got my baby. Oh. Yeah. Twenty nineteen September. Oh. A few months after I had buried my husband. Take a sip. Good story there. Orchid right? Valley. Orchid Valley. Ha. <laughs> 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 There's a mango juice. I'm telling you. Okay. So, uh, maybe my second last question. Are you single? <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> Hmm, pastor, you want to when preach? To you want to preach? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's a very sensitive question no, no, no. you ask. Eh? Mm. No, I no, am there single. There I am very single. Oh. There's single and searching. And there's very single. I am very single. And searching? Searching. <laughs> I want to be searched. <laughs> the Bible says a man must, shall. Oh. Eh, not a woman. Wow. You and I, we cannot change that one. Please, you see, cut him on me. So, oh, okay. okay please, wow. Imam, so, you so, do you shoot your shot. Do you don't do that. Do you Let me tell you, don't do it. I get don't. <laughs> Just don't. You, you'd rather go on your knees and say, Lord, open the eyes of that man. Okay. Let him come to. But don't uh-huh. go to that man. Ha. Na nini? Wanaume. Muna samanga tu yes. Even if you don't like the person. Yeah. So I'm waiting for a man to come. Wow. And tell me, Pastor. Wow. When I think about you. Oh. Pastor. <laughs> hey, child. <laughs> 
at, at my age, you Hallelujah. think I will now start Hallelujah. going, oh, let mm. me think about it. No, mm-hmm. it's when is the wedding. Wow. Mm. But anyway, I'm single so, so and I'm oh. actually, mm. these two years, I told myself, on a serious okay. note, I told myself I'll give myself about two years All right. Uh, before I can now, you know, think about being with the, with another man. Mm. So it's actually two years past. So, so you're ready. Shoot your shot if you want to shoot oh, your shot. Oh, damn it. Tell them your social media handle. My social media <laughs> handle, PST Ruth Mateta. That is oh. Pastor Ruth Mateta okay. everywhere. Mm-hmm. On Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Telegram. What's it? Vijana Mesia. Ah, ah, stuck in Vijana. Vijana Panataka was it? Was it? I am not a child born. Oh. I'll be 37 next year. Wow. Yeah, three years to 40. So 37. I need someone who understands when you come to. You know, you know, you know, you know, ready to get married mm-hmm. and everything, right? Of course, we're not getting married tomorrow. We date first. We date first. Yeah. So get married later, right? Yeah, maybe after you know. a year of dating or so. So, Baba's. Okay. Who Baba's? Way. Wababa. Wababa muni wacha. Wababa's is something else. <laughs> but yes, I'm saying. But anyway, it's, it's okay. Um, um, It was nice having you. Thank you. I, I hope good. that one day we visit your church. I do not have a, we we let me make it clear maybe mm-hmm. we had started a church with my late husband oh yes okay. uh we were ordained then we started the church okay but after his death I didn't continue with the church wow yeah but I'm in another church where I'm serving under a pastor mm-hmm. yeah so I am among the pastors in the church but I didn't continue with the church that we started with my late husband so we what motivated just, you to come back uh and to be a pastor to I mean, I love God, and I Whoa. just want to serve Him with my life. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. I want you to look at the camera uh-huh. and tell anybody, the single parent out there, single yeah. parent can be a dad, a That's mom, true. Yeah. anybody, right? Yeah. I want you to give them or maybe uh, tell them or advise them. Mm. It is not wrong. Like, yeah. right? Mm. So maybe you can tell them and advise them. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, for anyone watching me, one, I will start with uh, the fact that I was raised up by a single parent. Wow. Uh, a single father. Mm-hmm. And uh, at the point where I am right now, I'm also a single mom. I have met some of you, probably are even watching me, mm-hmm. where you're a single mom and you don't even want to think about dating or you're just contented. You're like, you, you know, maybe the reason that led to you to being a single mom was not a good one yeah. or maybe the man went and left you there so you're like you think every man is like that mm-hmm. imagine a partner if you want to be with someone you have to be open you can't just say now I, I don't know i've seen that narrative a lot with most of my uh, the female friends uh i mean single mothers specifically single mothers that i've met and they're just contented mm. i am not contented being alone it is not wrong to want to be with somebody else well, it is not your fault that you are a single mom probably because of death mm-hmm. probably because of divorce separation or the man just decided to be a spam donor you understand it is not your fault if you want to be with someone you got to open up yourself for you to be with somebody else yeah and god is you can be a single parent mm-hmm. and be more to that child than what two parents can be to that child. So it it doesn't limit you with anything. You Mm -hmm. just give it your all and let God guide you. It is possible to still have a good life as a single parent. Wow. Yeah. Wow. God is is helping us. It is a good story. Thank you. It is touching, educative, and thank you very much for honoring our uh, invitation. Thank you. Thank you so much. Next time, I hope we'll uh, we'll maybe visit your church, as I said earlier. Yeah. And maybe you carry uh, carry along Tolua. Yeah. Uh, You said the song name is? Reina Tolua. Reina Tolua. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, maybe the musical training, the vocals training, your your time, uh, maybe uh, how many days do you dedicate that? Three days. Three days. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. From 12 p.m to 7 p.m. Then Sunday, church? Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I'm in church. Three days? Yeah. Wow. We so have a service in the evening of Friday. Okay. Sorry. Mm-hmm. Saturday, practice, choir. Mm-hmm. Okay. And Sunday, the service. So you are the church, church chorister? So yes. They say I am the worship pastor. Oh, worship pastor. Yeah. Wow. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, Thank Sunday. you very much. That was Ruth Matetan. Thank you for watching and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Kindly like, share, and more episodes of Single Parenting is coming up. I've been your host.
Joseph Udwal, a.k.a. Ajo. Goodbye until next time.